In this video, I'm going to quickly walk you through creating your first Stratus Forms form using our free form builder tool. Uh, you do not have to use this tool if you're comfortable writing HTML and JavaScript. It just helps you get started creating those forms and it generates a lot of the HTML and JavaScript that you would have to write manually. Um, so let's go ahead and get started and jump right in. Um, on this first page, it is telling you, it's asking you for uh, which list in your SharePoint site do you want to store the Stratus Forms data. So we need to supply a list name that's going to store that data. And we also need to make sure that this list has a special field on it called Stratus Forms Data. And it must be a plain text, multi line text field. This is very important because this is how Stratus Forms stores all of your form data in one place, uh, kind of like InfoPath does. So let's jump over to our SharePoint site and I'm going to add a list to our site. Here I'm using Office 365, but Stratus Forms works with SharePoint 2007, 2010, SharePoint 2013, and SharePoint 2016. So let's go ahead and add our list and I'm going to call this list, we'll just call it test list, keep it simple. And now I'm going to go to the settings for test list. And I am going to create a field. And I'm going to call it Stratus Forms Data. It is a multiple lines of text field. And it is a plain text field. Very important. So let's go ahead and add that field. And now we are ready to go to create a form for this list. So back in our form builder tool, it's asking for our list name, which we said was test list. And now let's add some fields to this form. So you can see here, we have a whole list of fields that we can add to our form. Single line of text fields, checkbox, radio button, email. There's a lot of fields we can add. This is actually not all the fields available to Stratus Forms. We also have people pickers, we have encrypted fields, and a lot of other functionality um, that you can implement without this tool. If this whole process seems a little too manual to you, we also have a paid tool coming soon uh, for Office 365, which will allow you to uh, do all this stuff pretty automatically for you. Stratus Forms will actually go through and uh, create a lot of this stuff under the hood for you so you don't have to mess with it. So let's go ahead and quickly create a field. Uh, we'll give it a field type, we'll give it a name of name. We'll say it's a single line of text. Uh, we'll say it's required. And we can also with Stratus Forms say, I wanna take this field that's in my form and I wanna promote it to a field in my SharePoint list, uh, much like InfoPath does. So I wanna promote this name field to my title field in my SharePoint list. So I'm gonna tell it here that I wanna promote it to the title field. So let's go ahead and create another field and we'll call this field choices. Let's make a choice field. So we'll select the drop down list with hard coded choices. And we'll do choice one, choice two, choice three. And let's say we're done creating our form. So when we're done creating the form, it takes us to a final page, which shows us a simple HTML rendering of our form. If we click on the form source tab, it shows us that raw HTML for our form. And as you can see, this is just HTML. You can take this HTML and you can add style to it. You can go give it to one of your designers and say, go make this really pretty. You can manually add additional fields if you'd like. And we also have the script source, which automatically adds to us all the references that we need for our script, as well as some initialization functions need by Stratus Forms. So we see there is a uh, document ready function where we initialize the form here and then a function for when we submit the form to actually uh, save it. You can see how it sets some variables for us. It set, set that list name to test the list for us. And these are the functions that you need. So if we want to take this form now and we want to deploy it to SharePoint, uh, we can come back into uh, our SharePoint site here. And what we need to do is we need to get that HTML and that script into a file that we can then reference on a page in SharePoint. To do that, I'm going to use SharePoint Designer. You don't have to use SharePoint Designer. You could save those scripts to a file and manually upload them to a document library. I'm going to come into here to SharePoint Designer. I'm going to go to my Site Assets Library, and I'm going to create a new JavaScript file. And we'll call that test.js. I am now going to edit this file and I am just going to copy the script source, paste it into this file, 
and I'm also going to copy the HTML and paste it into the same file. You could actually uh, put these scripts into two different files if you'd like. I'm just putting in them into one file to keep things simple. So I'm going to save this file and if we jump back to our SharePoint site and we look in our site assets library we see that we have that script we just created test. So now I'm going to create a page in SharePoint that I want our form to be displayed on. So I'm going to go to our site pages library and we'll add a new page, a new web part page, and we will call it test and we will make it, we will store that in our site pages library and we'll create that page. Now from here we're going to add a content editor web part and what we're going to do is we're going to take that content editor web part and we're going to link it to that script that we uploaded to our site assets library. So I'm going to edit the content editor web part. I'm going to link it to my file which is in site assets. We call it test.js and we're going to apply that. Now I'm also going to add to this page a list view for our list we created just so we can see it in action. So that was called test list we're going to add that to our page. So you can see our test list and our form. So now to create an entry, I just fill in a name and a choice, and I submit the form. It tells me the save is successful. It reloads the page and actually populates the form for us. And we can see here in our test list how's that, how that got created in SharePoint. Our name field got promoted to the title field like we requested and the rest of the form data exists in this Stratus Forms data field. So if we want to create a new entry, we just make sure we clear out this query string variable and we do a name of Steve, choice one, and save that. And we can see that entry gets saved as well. If I want to load, go back and load Mark again, I just have to tell it I want to load ID one and it loads our choice for ID one. So you can come in here, like I said, and you can edit the HTML and that JavaScript and just turn this into a really, really po uh, powerful business form from the, just this quick start. So I encourage you to come in here, uh, play around with this form builder tool to get started, get comfortable with it, and then go in there and start manually writing your own HTML and JavaScript. Uh, don't forget to check out our site at stratusforms.com and also check out our uh, discussion board at itunity.com community stratusforms. Thanks.